Hey guys, Lost here, and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase here on the channel today. Or I should say mod update video because we are reviewing an updated version of the Pixmon mod. That's right, get hyped right now in the comments down below. I want to see hashtag hype spammed because we are reviewing an update of not Pixmon. Not Pixelmon Generations, but Pixelmon Reforged. That's right. Pixelmon Reforged, if you guys didn't know, is essentially a... Uh, here, I'll just show you guys the sign. Just, just stare at the sign. Um, if you guys know, Pixelmon Reforged, essentially what happened was, as you guys all know, Pixelmon got shut down over like a year ago at this point. And they kind of like split all apart. They didn't know what to do. But then, a few of them came back together and created a mod called the Pixelmon Reforged mod. Now, originally, I kind of downplayed it and was like, nah, it's not as good as Pixelmon Generations, which at first it wasn't. But then after Pixelmon Generations update and literally broke their game with all their crashes and whatnot, I turned to Pixelmon Reforged. Although it had a lot less stuff, it still had um, very quality uh, no lag. And now they've actually updated today. So the last version of Pixelmon Reforged that I played was 5.3.2, I believe. If you guys look at the update version, we are on version 6.3.1. Now, apparently 6.3 has been out for a little bit. I was unaware of this. I just looked today, and it, they were at 6.3.1. So you could say today, I don't know what the title of this video is going to look like, but it's going to essentially be us reviewing 6.3 and 6.3.1. 6.3.1 is essentially just like bug fixes and whatnot of 6.3 anyway. So, normally I like having all the signs like right here describing what's in the mod, but I, I did a full-on like... You guys can probably already see some of the things they've added, but let, let's just go from left to right. Let's just go from left to right. Um, but yeah, if you actually wait, if you guys have been enjoying the Minecraft mod showcase or enjoy the Minecraft Pixelmon showcase or just enjoy Pokemon in general, click that like button. I want to see this video get 15 likes. That's right. We're going all the way in today. I want to see this video at 15 likes by the end of the week. And if you guys guarantee that, then... If you guys can guarantee me that, I can guarantee you more Pixelmon content in the future if that's what you guys enjoy. And if you are just checking out my channel for the first time, first off, I'm so glad that you were able to check out my channel on this video. Um, second off, watch till the end of it. Consider subscribing if you would like. We just did 2,100 subs the other day. So, um, there's that. But it's about time we started getting into this amazing mod showcase or update, I guess. So first things first, let's talk about Arceus. Arceus, Arceus, however you want to call him. Um, the big man himself. So you're probably questioning, well, why why isn't he his normal yellow color? Why why is this like pink and green? What is this? Well, let me tell you. If you guys do know, Arceus in the main series games has the ability to change, or in the anime also, has the ability to change his color to essentially prevent a certain type of move from affecting him. And the, in the normal games, how you do this is you gave him a specific plate to hold as a held item, and he would change color to that plate, and that move didn't affect him. So, if you open the chest right here, here's all the plates. So, for example, the uh, sky plate. He will change blue if you give this to him, or light blue. And flying time moves will not affect him. If you give him the splash plate, he will change darker blue. And water time moves will not affect him, etc. So, all the plates represent all different typings of Pokemon. And I don't know what he is right now. That kind of looks like, I would have to say, either the pixie plate or it could be the uh, mind plate. It's probably the mind plate because Psychic is a darker per pinkish color sometimes. But yeah, so that's one update to him. They've also updated the ability to actually summon Arceus. A lot of the uh, current legendaries in Pixelmon, if you guys didn't know, they just kind of spawn randomly in their biomes, respective biomes. But now, they've updated so a few of them actually have their rituals like in the main series games. I don't know if I personally agree or disagree with that. I'll let you guys know whenever we're done reviewing all the legendaries. But the first one... Essentially what you do is you have to acquire this, uh, what is this thing even called? The Azor Flute. And how you get the Azor Flute is, I believe you get it from a boss drop. I forgot to read where you get this thing from, but yeah, you might get it from boss drop. Um, and essentially what you do is you use it on the Time Space Altar. Now the Time Space Altar is pretty interesting because, um... I didn't know they even spawned in the world yet. I knew that was originally in the the final code for the original Pixelmon mod was to have like the time space thingy spawn, like on Spear Pillar, in the uh, mountain re in the mountains in the uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl series of games. But I didn't think they actually had that as a structure that can spawn now in your world. But yes, apparently that is a thing. And then um, use this on the time space altar, and it will summon as it puts God, and you will then be able to fight and capture God. 
Uh, this is the Arc Chalice. The Arc Chalice is used with the different um, plates on Arceus, how you change his abilities and whatnot. So there's that. So, in other words, Arceus is now complete. His entire function in the uh, Pokemon world is now in Pixelmon now. Um, again, I don't know if he will still spawn naturally just randomly, or if you now have to get him only through this ritual. It did not specify. Moving on, let's talk about ho and Lugia. As you guys do know, once again, these things spawn naturally in your world. Spawns in the Mesa biome, spawns in the ocean biome. However... There is another, I don't know if this is, again, if this is an alternative way or if this is the only way now to acquire them. You need to acquire the Clear Bell and the Tidal Bell. And these actually do not have craft recipes, so once again, boss drops. Now once you acquire these bells, it says you hang them up in your room. So, can I actually hang these things? Uh, will it let me hang them is the question? No, I'm assuming that in an item frame. It, it says you hang them in your house, and if you hear them start ringing... At either dusk or dawn, depending on the bell, it will, um, s y you better be ready for one of these two things to spawn. So that is either the only way or an alternative way to spawn these guys. And if you guys know if they have changed it so it is the only way now, let me know in the comments. Um, again, like, I personally here, I don't think anything else can spawn naturally, so I personally do disagree with that. I like the idea of a random legendary always spawning, you never know which one it is, especially since there's so many of them now. If you do it this way, then it kind of limits that, because, like, already the three legendary birds don't spawn naturally. They have to be summoned through their, uh, their pillar structures or whatever, and now this is three more legendaries that you have to use specific means of summoning. Which, I know that's part of the lore, but at the same time, like, in the, also in the regular Pokemon games, it is possible for a Legendary just to spawn naturally, and you catch it that way. So, it's kind of like, one way or another. You guys can leave your ideas down below what you prefer, but, um, yeah, that would be them. Moving on, Kirim. Kirim, Black Kirim and White Kirim, his fusions of, uh, from Zekrom and Reshiram. They are now fully modeled and put into the game. Once again, something that was being worked on right before, uh, right before the Pixelmon mod decided it didn't want to. It decided the, or I should say, Nintendo decided they wanted to just uh, crack down on the thing. Um, and the, something else was being worked on. Of course, the DNA splicer right here, of course, is a boss drop. Uh, you get it. You use it just like you would in the main series games. Actually, no, you don't get it from Bushrop. I have a sign here. I'm stupid. Found on Wild Kirim. So essentially, Kirim can still spawn in the wild, and you have to uh, capture Kirim, and you get his DNA splicers from capturing him, or I believe maybe killing him? I would assume capture, because it just said in the, on the uh, wiki page, found on Wild Kirim, so I'm guessing you have to capture him. And if you guys don't know how these works, essentially, if you have Reshiram or Zekrom and Kirim on your team with the DNA splicers, then they actually will fuse together into one Pokemon, and they will look either like this, which is with Zekrom fused, or like this, with Reshiram fused. Pretty cool and sick models. I don't know why Black Kyurem is bigger than White Kyurem. Personally, I prefer White Kyurem, just because he has red in him, but, you know. Moving on. We have the transformation effects of both uh, Hoopa in his final form, you could say, and Shaman in his sky form. So, apparently, they said the transformation into these two forms now look a lot more uh, awesome. Quote, this is their words, not mine. Um, I have not personally seen it yet. I would have liked to test it, but you, I prefer doing the uh, Pixelmon showcases in this format. So, if I ever do it in my survival series, it will be all the more epic. But, yes, this is, the, uh, this is what they, of course, look like in their final forms. And their transformations look more epic. Apparently, the same goes for Kirim. Um, it said the same thing for Kirim when he transforms into these two forms. Uh, it looks a lot better. Apparently, it looked bad before. Um, moving on, we have Mega Rayquaza added into the game. Yes, this is as small as Mega Rayquaza can go. He looks so tiny and cute. But, um, of course, how you get Mega Rayquaza, just like the main series games, he has to know Draco Meteor. Or, not Draco Meteor, uh, Dragon Ascent. Jeez. And the only way for him to get Dragon Ascent is you have to either find a move tutor that's giving Dragon Ascent, or you have to cheat. So, essentially, you have to first find a move tutor and hope it has Dragon Ascent, then you have to teach it to Rayquaza. And then he gets his Mega Evolution. So, about that. Moving on, finally, these two behemoths have been added to the game. Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre themselves. The two basically quote-unquote non-mega but mega evolutions of legendaries that were never in the Pixel mod have finally been added. Mega Rayquaza was in before, it's just he didn't have like a means of acquiring himself. 
Uh, but what is that in the... Oh, that's a Mega uh, Audino. Uh, but yeah. So, we have these two behemoths now added into the game. And yes, you do have the orbs themselves. The Lava Orb and the Aqua Orb, or whatever you'd like to call them. The Blue and Red Orb. Now, how you get them is pretty interesting. You have to fish from lava in deserts to get this one. And you have to fish from water in oceans, which I guess makes sense for this one. However, that's not all. No, you can only get shards of these things. You cannot get the full orb themselves. You have to get shards, and then you have to place the shards on the ground to craft the orb itself. You're probably thinking, place on the ground? What do you mean? Well, I'll show you what you mean. If you get the red shard, you place it on the ground, it looks like this. You get two shards. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you need actually ten full shards of each to be able to acquire these beautiful orbs. And once you get them, they will look like that, and then you should be able just to break them, and then they will pop out like so. And then, of course, as you know, you give them to both Gyogre or Groudon, and they will Mega Evolve, or Primal Evolve, I guess. So that's pretty cool. And of course, if you guys have been playing Pixelmon recently, you know they already have the Roost Precipit Blades, and Origin Pulse are already part of their movesets. This makes no difference. However, the interesting thing is now that, um, again, they will spawn normally, where, like they always do, just you have one extra step to get them to evolve. My favorite Pokemon from Omega Ruby was Primal Groudon, solely because his ability to neutralize all water attacks. The one thing that would be super effective to him, or times four effective to him, since he is ground fire type, or whatever typing, I believe he's ground fire type, um, he neutralizes it, so water types cannot affect the big man. It, it's amazing. But, moving on to the more aesthetically appeasing uh, Pokemon, Rotom. Yes, Rotom has always been in the game, but his different forms have now been added to the game, and yes, you can actually get them. You can actually get the lawnmower, the fan, the uh, washing machine, and the fridge are all items that have been added into Pixelmod, and the furnace is just, well, the normal Minecraft furnace. And they actually have inventory, well, the, the, the mower has an inventory for some reason, and the fridge actually opens and has an inventory itself, which is pretty kind, kind of funny. Um, but... It, how you basically get Rotom transformed into these, all you do is throw Rotom out, make him hit the hitbox of one of these things, and he will transform into that. And as you guys know, each Rotom has its own specific move given to it whenever it transforms. And it did say if you swap its forms, it will lose that move and it will just swap with the other move. And of course, here's what they look like in model form. We have the furnace, the washing machine, the fridge, the fan, and the lawnmower. And then this is how big they look. This is them in their ginormous size. Just so you guys know, as a form of scaling, this is how big they can get. So, though, I mean, in my opinion, the coolest one is the fan. I always like the fan. I think in the anime, I prefer the washing machine. But just looking at them like this, I prefer the fan. It's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I believe all these have crafting recipes. Let me just check really quickly. Yeah, the fan you can craft like so. The mower you can craft like so. Washing machine crafting like so and the fridge i don't mean to throw you out here tina the fridge is crafted like so that's good and yes these three items were just added in with this version now one more thing we need to talk about is in the recent updates they've added more mega evolutions i didn't have room to honestly put their i mean i did kind of have room over here but i didn't want to put any more make any more uh, statues in because we've seen enough already um, but they did add Mega Evolutions of, I believe, Ampharos, Sharpedo, and I think three others. Um, those are the new Megas they've added in, in terms of models and whatnot. And I believe Mari finally got here. I'll just prove right now. Pocus Spawn. Mari. Mari, Mari. Come on, give me Mari. Should have just spelled it out. Mari, halfway through. There's no point in me spelling it out. Mari. So yes, they finally fixed Mareep's model. He looks a lot better um, than he did before. As you guys know, in the Pixel Generations mod, um, Mareep had a model change. But in Pixel Reforged, a lot of the models never were changed. But now, this one has been. So, that's good. And yes, uh, Flaffy and Ampharos being the same thing. And oh look, there's a Mega Ampharos right up There's two of them. Right up there. So that's what Mega Ampharos looks like in his majestic self. But yes, that is going to conclude today's mod showcase. Apologies if it was a little bit longer than usual, but you guys know I like thoroughly uh, going over the uh, Pixelmon updates because they are the coolest. And I honestly didn't think we'd ever get another one because there was rumors circling that Pixelmon Reforged wasn't ever going to update again either. 
and I was like, crap, we're never going to get an update of this. But nonetheless, it has updated, and this is what it looks like now. Guys, if you enjoyed today's Mod Choice, click that like button, share your support, like I said. Share this video with your friends if they enjoy Pixmon or haven't been knowing that the mod has been updating. Uh, definitely share this with them because this is... This is amazing that it is still updating to this point. And of course, this version will be used on both my L Pixelmon Lucky Block series and my Pixelmon's Rival series. That being said, I will have to edit the Pixelmon Lucky Block now to add in some of the new drops just so we can use them like for Primal and... Yeah, Primal Groudon and Kyogre and possibly the plates of Arceus if we manage to get an Arceus. But guys, again, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.